the store. Day six. Alright, let's start putting good items in the front window. Long sword. Focus staff. Shield. Shell necklace. Slime liver worth a lot of money. What's it for? Ingredients. Let's change the shield with a cherry. Put something more expensive in the side slot. Orange is worth a lot. Chocolate bar, yeah. Okay, let's sell all this. Here's Louie. Whole bunch of people. Little girl wants a raincoat. Should have taken that rain ja jacket away. It's not worth that much. Old man wants slime liver. Too much for 150. Go down a bit. 132. He won't pay 132. Will he pay 131 or 130? I think he will. That sucks. No, that's all I got to sell. It's fucking horrible. One item. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, let's try selling again. He won't pay 129%. Fuck. This dude wants cherries. He paid 133 without question. Fuck, I think I, I think he sold me that. I, I think I was supposed to buy it off of him. I fucked up. My money went down. This little girl's selling me something. Now at least my merchant level went up to level 3 though. Fucking Louie has no money. Chocolate bar for his wife. She got them chocolate cravings. Well, we seem more or less to uh, used to the basics of running an item shop. Hey, <laughs> you think so? There's one other matter, however. You can not always be certain that a customer will know what they want when they come in. What do you mean? They may come in thinking, what should I make for dinner? What would be a good weapon and so forth? They will not be quite sure what exactly they wish to purchase when they come through our door in such a case. We must provide them with advice to help them decide. Well, wait, how could I do? Many customers uh, will simply give up if they do not find something suitable for their needs on our counters. Others, however, will realize that we may have reserve stock and will inquire as to whether or not we have something they seek. That is when you may suggest an item you think they would like. In a sense, it's ultimate chance to show your skill as an item shopkeeper. If you know 
what someone desires, you will likely impress them and cause them to return. Yeek, no pressure then, none at all. Well, uh, let us give it a little practice, shall we? It's no different from a normal sell, really, beyond the fact that you must choose the item to sell yourself. Let us begin. KK. Welcome. I would like a sword, please. So, anything is okay as long as it's a sword. Ultimately, you must pick something the person would like. By the way, if I may give you a little advice, if you sell weapons and armor to your adventurer friends, they will equip the items you sell them. Meaning, of course, that if you sell items to them, then we do not need to lend them any items at the start of a dungeon excursion and we'll be able to bring back more items for our own use. That's good. Uh, even if an adventurer must retreat while in a dungeon, that equipment is not lost since it's in their possession. So selling better equipment to adv our adventuring friends is a good idea, even if you must undersell them a little bit. Accessories work the same way, so think carefully about what you sell, what, um, who you sell what to, and what effect it may have on their performance. Well, I hope I can keep track of all this. If you look at the details of an item when selling to one of the adventuring friends, you can also check what that person currently has. Now then, we should continue. Affirmatification. I would like a sword, please. Yes, excellent. The rest is like normal sale. Sell them a steel sword. Well, once again, let us put the whole thing into practice. I'll ask you for an item. Sell me what I ask for, and you will pass. Let's begin. Welcome, Reseteer. I'd like a weapon, however. A steel sword. This is lovely. How much is it? One more time. They always make you do it like two, three times in the when they're teaching you stuff. The tutorial stages of this game. Fantastic, you're ready for everything now. If you wish, ever wish to practice this again, simply ask Tear. Alright, what else can I do? Um, got, like, I guess I'll just keep selling stuff. Um, I think that's all good. Try to make some money. Now I know I can sell my adventurous stuff. I can like get Louis items from the market, really good stuff, and then sell it to him cheap. And then you'll have it equipped on him when we go to do a new dungeon. This dude wants slime liver. Twenty-seven percent or one twenty-five, maybe one twenty-seven. Student wants a thankful statue, tight balance sheet. This much is precious, but I think I can sell it. He wants me to buy it. Bought it for like thirty-eight percent or forty-eight percent or something. Pretty good deal. I try to resell it for a lot of money. Working hard reset. Oh, I'll take this, please. Long sword. How much does this skilled master pay? 129. Fair enough. Okay, good. Now I've got more than enough to sell or to make this week's payment. And of course you're selling this when I'm near broke. Louis wants a wooden shield. He already has a wooden shield, I thought. Oh, don't want that. Lower. Alright. I need to get a treasure really quickly. A treasure? I don't know if I have a treasure. Shell necklace, maybe? Oh, a thankful statue. It's worth a lot. That's fine. How much will she pay? Doesn't have that much money today. A 
she doesn't have that much money. Fuck. Damn it. That sucks. It's a big item to sell. It's worth a lot of money. Forty-five fifty. Sometimes I don't think enough. I don't think the characters have enough money. For certain items. All right, let's try selling again. Last uh, evening or night of the store. Louis always comes when he's hungry. He's in love with Reset. Okay, next. This woman's back. Wants an orange. You get so many items, and some of them are not worth much money. You might as well just sell them to people cheap. I think the guild master is not stupid. I think he'll pay 130, 129%. Dude wants cherry. Don't know how much money he'll pay. Too much. Ha, your haggling skills win miss. I'll take it. Yay, I sold it. I sold the cherry. Right. Bedtime. End of day six. Exceeded expectations. Nice. 5840 profit. Score difference plus 450. Day seven. Alright. Sell all the rest of my stuff, maybe. Yeah. 